fail. Today I will show you how to add uh, Git to your Jenkins repository, how to configure it and uh, fetch data from your GitHub repository. So, what can we do? First of all, we need to create a new task in our uh, Jenkins. Let's create a new item. We call it GitHub and it will be a freestyle project. Okay. So here in source control management we will already have git and subversions. These plugins were added uh, during installation. You can check it in installation video. And uh, here we are not going to call any triggers, just uh, configure for git. Let's add git. And here we need to add the github repository or just URL. Let's open our github. And uh, let's take some simple repository. And uh, let's copy HTTPS URL, not, H not SSH, but HTTPS. Let's copy that. And also you can subscribe to my GitHub. Okay, uh, so let's add it here. And here we see some error. Why? Because our Jenkins is on Google Computer Engine service and uh, we have no Git there. So let's open our server and uh, install Git. And um, meanwhile, we can save just this job and then we will return to it. So we are on our server. Let's try to check if we have Git. Of course, we haven't. Let's install it. So we installed Git. Let's check it. Git. Yes, we have it. And also, we have Git. Also, we see that uh, Git, Git version is 2.11.0. So let's return to our GitHub job. Let's open it and try configure, continue configuring. Okay, now we see that there is no issues, no errors, and also it's a GitHub repository without any credentials, it doesn't require anything, but if you need some credentials, we can edit Jenkins. Uh, in case we need to uh, use some username or password, if it's a private GitHub repository or it's some your project, uh, some other environment or you can use SSH uh, access or secret file, secret text, certificate. Okay, it can be easily checked. For for username, you can just add your username and the password from your GitHub and it can fetch your private repositories. Okay, so branch, let's let it be master and uh, now we can save it and after that we build this job. Here we see that this job is running. Let's open it and uh, here we will check console output. So first of all finish success is a great. Uh, also we see that fetching user stream upstream changes from github repository uh, and everything was fetched successfully. Let's go to this github task and uh, open workspace workspace and here we see our project it's a git up git ignore let's check it here up git ignore license git folder of course because it's git everything is, is the same okay where we can find this um, project on our github on our server let's clear it and let's go to our jenkins on the server and uh, take a look on this workspace so jenkins is installed on Wars read Jenkins. You can check it uh, on video about installation Jenkins. Let's go it. And here in the end we see workspace. Let's go to workspace. Here we have our task. It's a GitHub. Let's go to GitHub. And here we see that it's the same project. It's a app license and readme. Additionally, we can check uh, configuration of our task. Let's let's go back a bit. So we go to jobs, Jenkins job, and here we see our GitHub. Let's go to GitHub, and here we have config XML. Let's open it, and here we see our GitHub uh, job uh, configuration. It's a GitHub URL, our branch, and uh, some additional stuff. So uh, what uh, I just wanted to mention about our configuration of our job. Let's go to configure and uh, change one small feature. It's uh, Okay, let's go to manage Jenkins and open global tools configuration to check ways of a Git and the uh, version. So here in the Git installation, we see that uh, path to Git, uh, it's specify Git because when we install Git, uh, path to this uh, library was add to path file and 
That's why when we type it here in console git, we can open it. So it's good. In case if it doesn't work, you need to put here the full path to your git. And what is important is name. Uh, name these are uh, best practices that you need to put the version of your package here. So we have, uh, why do we need it? Because sometimes we need to run our tasks in different environments. It might be different uh, Maven or different Docker version or any other GDK, GDK, any other version. So the version should be specified here. It's one of the best practices. So say, let's save it. And uh, that's it. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe on my channel.